Hello everyone, welcome back. You know, there's just times in your life that everything just seems to take all your time and energy and this has been one of them. It's been a very challenging start to this year, losing my friends to COVID pneumonia and cancer, Brian going in the hospital with COVID pneumonia, my work, which is always the busiest, the first four months of the year. So I haven't done very many videos at all. I apologize for that. I'm sorry, but life happens and I'm trying to dig my way out and I'm actually working to reduce a little bit of my workload because it has just been very challenging this year. So today, I'm gonna do a little bit of a lot and just kind of show you things that I'm working on that may be videos that are in progress, but they're not ready to edit and upload yet. Just things that I've been doing. So with that, one of the things that has really got me tied up is we had to say goodbye to our little dog Tootsie Roll. She was 14 and a half. My, I love that little dog. I miss her. And then we did something really insane and we went to the shelter and adopted a five month old puppy. And he's hard to capture because He's moving a lot. He's very high energy, half Rottweiler, half Border Collie. Very smart, very energetic, very challenging. <laughs> so he, he requires a lot of time. We are taking him for long walks several times a day, getting him to run lots of things. So that's one of these things. And I'll try and put a picture if I can get him to sit still long enough. So that is number one. And I saw his picture from the shelter and just fell in love. And then I saw the name they gave him. Now, are you ready for this? His name is Bacon Bits. I couldn't resist. I just had to do it. So I have a puppy that is just adorable and loving and moves a lot. And his name is Bacon Bits. So that's, that's a big one. But there's a few other things I've been up to. have any dandelions on my property. I know, weird, huh? 40 acres, no dandelions. But my friend's house that I'm taking care of, I discovered their garden area is just loaded with dandelions. I was so excited, I went out and picked flowers. So, I'm making dandelion mead. It's about a six week process and I am making video on that, but that's one of those things, it's gonna take some time. In addition to that, another video that I'm working on is also about dandelions, and I am infusing a blend of carrier oils so that I can use this to make dandelion salve and dandelion lotion bars. So, lots of dandelions. And a dear neighbor, he's so sweet. I called him up and says, hey, do you have a one gallon jug to make dandelion mead? Well, we went ahead and got it made because it wouldn't have kept. But he went out and found this, which is a really cool old Almaden wine bottle that he and his wife shared and he gave me this bottle. <laughs> it's beautiful. 
It wasn't in time to make the dandelion meat, but I'm gonna try and pick more dandelions and make some dandelion wine with it. But I just had to share this bottle. It's beautiful. I probably saw one of these many years ago in the grocery store, but I don't remember. And it's very unusual, but I think it would be a beautiful bottle to make dandelion wine in. I haven't had time to do an Azure Standard haul in, in a while, because again, things just got too busy. And I'm not gonna go through everything but what I am gonna show you are some of the things that I got that maybe you don't realize they have. So it's kind of nice to know that you can go look for them there. They are being challenged like everybody else right now. Supply chain, they are pretty good, but they are still going to run out of things at times because shipping and suppliers, they have to wait on these things. So, Yes, it's very disappointing when you place an order, even up at the last minute and they have something in stock and by the time they pack your order, they're out. It's happened to me pretty much every month. This month was pretty bad. There were a number of things missing. I go back, put it in my cart, and I immediately check out because that locks in my price. So. You can add to your cart, take away from it all the way up till it's time for your next order to ship. But if something's on sale, that's the way to capture the price. So <laughs> I was disappointed, but you know what? I got it back in my cart and I checked it out. Something you may not know they have is they have gamma seal lids. Now you don't always get to choose your color, and I'm okay with that. But they come in three packs, and I don't even have the prices in front of me, so you'll have to go look at their website to see how much they are. These are something that I hadn't seen on there before, but really nice. These are Norpro brand stainless steel baking sheets. Now they're not super heavy, but they're not real lightweight either. So they're a nice weight. And sometimes I don't want to use my aluminum ones. I do use parchment paper most of the time. But there are times when I just want to use a baking sheet and stainless steel would be my choice. So I got a 10 by 15, and this one has a rim all the way around. And then I got a 16 and a half by 12 and a half baking sheet. This is more of a cookie kind, and it does not have a rim at one edge, and it's got notches at the corner. So you wouldn't want to use this for catching liquids. The other one would be great. Again, Norpro is a very good brand. So that's something I was excited to find. They have such a variety of things that you never know how much until you go look. And just I just go through it and look. Buttermilk powder is something I always keep on hand because I don't have to have it in my refrigerator. I can come up with a recipe and go pull this off the shelf. I will put this in a glass jar to preserve it, but this will be there when I need it for a recipe and I won't have to worry about going to get it or making it with milk because most of the time I don't have milk on hand. I just, we don't use it all the time. There's no reason. So buttermilk powder and you're buying it, they, purchase in bulk and repackage. So that's how it comes. Now you may or may not have heard of their corporate office fire. And unfortunately, part of that building was also where they repackaged liquids. And I had already placed this and they had it in stock and then that fire happened. So I don't know if these were affected or not, but this is a one gallon jug of organic 
white wine vinegar. Now you buy those little glass bottles and they're super expensive. This was not that bad. And again, I don't have my prices here, but it wasn't that bad. And I also like to make infused vinegars. Sometimes with my wild violets, I may make dandelion. I don't know yet. But this is good to have on hand for that. And it is organic, so I really like that. Now, I have talked about guajillo peppers powder before. I bought it in a neat little jar like this. Tried it and I love it. Well, even at Azure, this is not inexpensive, but I could buy some in bulk. So this is a one pound package of ground guajillo peppers. Again, I'm gonna package it up for storage but when it comes time for this to be empty, I can refill this bottle for a lot less money. So just something to keep in mind, they, they have a number of spices and herbs in bulk. And as long as you have something to put them in, you can save quite a bit over little jars, especially from the grocery store. This was from Azure, it's their brand. So this is exactly the same thing, but I'm gonna tell you, this is so tasty. It has some heat, but when we tasted it, the, the heat took a minute and then it was kind of at the back. It wasn't super hot. It was just enough to know it was peppers, but it, it just has a really nice flavor. So you might want to check this out, guajillo peppers. And then the last two things I'm going to share with you. I have tried to get these a number of times and every time I tried, they were usually out, but dried pears and oh my gosh, these are like candy. I suppose you could rehydrate or bake with these. I'm not going to do that. This is a snack. Eat a few slices and oh, it's just super, super good. Now this is something I had not tried before and I saw and I thought that might be interesting. This is dried orange slices. Exactly what it says. Thin slice oranges that are dried if you need them on a recipe, you can do that. You could add them to smoothies or whatever. Really good flavor to them. You do have the peel and the pith. So if you're eating them, like I tend to do, <laughs> you, you taste a little bit of that bitter if you're eating the pith. But these would be so good in tea in any hot drink. If you wanted to, you could use them in a potpourri where you're boiling spices along with this, like at Christmas time. Really nice. But I'm not sure of how I'm gonna use these. I did taste it and it was good. Like I said, if you're eating the whole slice, you will get a little bit of the bitter if that bothers you, you could take it off or use it for other purposes like I'm gonna do. So just a little update on <laughs> my crazy life. Oh, and pulling weeds. Oh my gosh, they're, this is the worst year I remember in a very, very, very long time. And having the new puppy especially and needing to take walks we have foxtails, and I, most people probably aren't familiar with those, but they're a really nasty weed. And if your dog eats some or steps on some of those spiky little poofs, I guess, I don't know what they call them, where they have barbs on them, and they will actually, if they step on it, it will work their way up through their bloodstream 
it could kill them. It can go to their heart. So I have been out on my knees <laughs> praying, but also pulling foxtails and, and disposing of them so that the seeds don't fall and get into my puppy or Buster, but Buster's usually smart enough to stay away from that stuff. Puppy hasn't learned everything yet. He likes to eat everything. So I've also been pulling weeds and I have a few million more to go. And so that will keep me busy. And hopefully soon my garden, but we have 25 to 35 mile an hour winds today, tomorrow, the next day. I don't even know how long with more freezing temperatures. So the garden's gotta wait. So it is what it is. That gives me some time in the house, in the kitchen to do some things maybe, and hopefully I can make some more videos. Thank you so much for bearing with me and listening to me and sharing life with me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. God bless, and we'll talk soon.